Hey there, everybody. In this episode, we are going to make a Lego block, uh, one that looks similar to this. Uh, but once you know how to do this, you can make all kinds of different ones. And I'm going to show you an easy way. Now, first of all, you're going to want to have this like single Lego already made. So there's a video or a link popping up up there. You're going to want to click on because that will make your life super, super easy. So as we jump into Fusion 360, you'll see that I already have this one made. And what we're going to do is down here, you can press the play button and you can see how it's made. And so what we're going to do to make that two by two is I'm going to come over here to this first sketch. I'm going to double click it. And since we're making it two by two, this is a one by, I'm going to just make some multiples. So I'm going to do that and times that by two. I'm going to double click down here and I'm going to hit times two and hit finish sketch. And you can kind of see that it's already like the same size. So this sketch right here is this top feature. Of course, we don't want to edit that because it's all the right size. So what we want to do is we want to use what's called a rectangular pattern. This rectangular pattern will make your life so much easier. So you want to make sure that you are clicked on feature and you want this feature to work. Uh, we want to select this um, area and we want two of them to be 0.308 across and then i want to click on another arrow and again i want this to be 0 0.308 and you can see it this is what it would look like if we had three of them but i only want two of them and so you can now see a two by a two i'm going to hit okay and then it looks pretty darn good uh, the next thing you're going to see is as you flip it over on the bottom, you're like, wait a second. I want that dimple. I want that shell to take an effect. Do I have to redo the shell? Well, you could. Or you can look down here and say, all right, the rectangular pattern came after the shell. Well, what happens if I move the, the rectangular pattern before the shell? That's what happens, and your life is a lot simpler. All right. One thing we want to do is we want to add a uh, circle down here. So I want to click uh, down uh, at the very bottom, looking underneath it. I'm going to right click and go to create feature. And I'm going to grab a circle and I want this circle to be right in the middle. And I also want it to be right in the middle here. If I hover down, you'll see that I've got a blue arrow or I'm sorry, blue line that puts me right in the center. Just to make sure I'm in the center, we always want a dimension. So we want a dimension for location, uh, which would put us in the middle there. Uh, we also, um, which is, that is correct. Uh, and I want a dimension height there. So these should be the same. Uh, and then we also always dimension for size. So we always size and location. Um, so I want this to be a 0.2 circle in diameter i want to then offset this circle and i'm bringing it in a little bit come on offset work if i grab the offset hmm, doesn't want to work okay so here's another way to do an offset if i click on this and i make a circle here i want the distance between here and here to be uh, 0.01. There we go. I'm gonna hit finish sketch and extrude this outside circle. Angle it down a little bit. You can, you can pull it down as far as you want, but what the distance we want is actually to the outside of this object. Go ahead and hit okay. And now you can see we have a two by two. Uh, finally, what you want to do is you might want to change the color of it. So I'm going to say blue plastic. And I like the matte. There we go. Hit close. That looks good. Does it all over. Here's the other cool part about this is if you want to make like a multiple, like let's say you want to make a two by six. Then you double click on this, you change this number to six. 
can change then this number. Sorry. You can change this number to six. It does that. And as you flip that over, you'll notice you have that all set up. It follows those. And then you can simply do a rectangular pattern with this feature right here. Select that line going up like this. Uh, we want those to be 0 0.308 across by... Um, like that, and then we want, how many more of these do we want? So if I said six, that would be too many. So we always want one fewer. So we'd go five, Hit okay. And now we have that all made. So file, save as two by six. I think I forgot to save the last one. So uh, I can always go back and fix make that a two by two again. So, all right, let's go, let's go back and I need to delete that, change this to two. And there we go. Change this back to two. Finish that. Yep, there we go. Now don't forget to save your work like I had just forgot to do. So, one by two, boom, all done. And of course, you can figure out all kinds of other shapes. Have a great day and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below.